Good day, my viewers out there. It's Olu Shola BC in the studio today. Today, I'm going to be talking about improvisation. As we all know that I've been talking about this series for a while. So I've gotten some questions. People asking me that what skills do I play while improvising? As we all know that improvisation entails playing over chord changes. So I've gone to package some skill patterns you can play over some particular chord changes so in today's lesson we'll be treating major chords what are those skills you can play over major chords so i've gathered from the most consonant then to the most dissonant of the skills that you can play over major chord before we proceed i would like you to click the subscribe button subscribe to my channel and put on the notification bell so as for you not to miss any video update let's go to class so as I've said earlier that we're going to be considering the major chord. So we're going to be using the key of C major. That is the mother of all keys that has no sharps nor flat. So in the first example, we have C major chord. C major seventh. As we all know that jazz has to do with extensions, plain chord extensions. Instead of C major, we have C major seventh. So the first thing we have to look out for is the scale that can be easily seen in the key of C major. Okay, what are the notes that makes up the C major 7th? We have the root note, we have Mi, we have so. now we have T. I'm using the tonic solfa system as well. We can use the alphabet system. C, E, G, B. So in the C major 7th chord, we can have the major skill as well. So let's Let's list out the major skill in tonic so far. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, t. Then back to do in alphabet. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. We can play the major scale over the C major seventh without having any issue. But I want us to notice something. Where you are coming from doesn't matter, but where you are going to rest is the place that matters when it comes to improvisation. So by the time you are playing your do re mi fa sol la ti, you are playing do mi so la ti do fa, fa mi re do so ti do. You must have a resting place that has to do with what the chord tones. So you have to take into your notice the chord tones. So anywhere you're going to rest, either you play re, re mi so la do la so la. T, you have to come back to the note, to the strong note of the chord. That is the seventh, the third, or the root. Then you can go back to the fifth as well. So any note you're going to be playing around this cycle of major skill, you have to rest on one of the notes in the chord. So that's the fourth skill. I'm going to make a demonstration of that and come back to the next skill we need to look at so the first scale you can play over a c major seventh chord is the major scale aspect is when we have a little alteration in one of the notes of the major scale then we come about the C major sharp 11 scale so uh, let me put that in the, in, the, in the bracket C major sharp 11 so coming back to the major scale do re mi fa so la ti do from C D E F G A B C from C to C is eight is an octave. So how do we count our eleven? After the eight, this is the ninth. Your second is ninth. Your third is the tenth. Your fourth is the eleventh. But this time around, it's going to be a sharp eleventh. So instead of playing the re mi fa, it's going to be the re mi fi. You had a sharp to the fourth note, which is the eleventh in the compound interval. So we have something like this. So in your chord tones, you can include it like, okay, do, mi, fi, so, ti. This is an extra note. So you can either use it as a passing note because of the strong dissonance sound that it's going to bring out. So anytime you're resting, 
you're playing do me so tv so do me so tv so okay my voice can't do it very well i'm going to do it demonstrate it on the instrument so you have to rest on one of these notes so this is just actually c major seven sharp eleven so that's the second skill So the last example for today is going to be C major sharp 5. So as we all know that we have our C major, what are the things that we can play over C major? We can play the major scale. Then now we want to input our sharp 5. It's going to be C major 7 sharp 5. So our sharp 5. Don't forget that in the previous example we have sharp 11, so the sharp 11 will be included as well. So, in our alphabet note, is going to be like this. F sharp, G sharp, A and B, and back to C. So, we can simply call this lead augmented, or we can call it melodic minor. That's the third mode of the melodic minor. So, now, let's bring out the most important note. So we can have it written in half of it as well. So this we had a little tension to our existing improvisation skills that we had before. So combining all the three skills together, let's hear how it sounds. Folks, thanks for watching to the end of this video. I think I've been able to add one or two to your improvisation library. So when improvising on major chord, that doesn't mean that because it's major, we have bright sound that we can have a little bit of tension. At least the C major sharp 11th and the C major 7th sharp 5 is a bit of tension to the major chords improvisation. So at least I would like you to click the subscribe button and put on your notification bell so as for you not to miss the part two of this exact video so i just want to say that you should practice because that's the only way you can make this language speak when you are improvising so i would like encourage you to practice more using all these acts thank you for watching bye